Hi there, this is Andy speaking. This video is about uh, changing the default channel strip settings logic for both audio and uh, instrument channels. Okay, so uh, let's create a new project, an empty one. Create a software instrument, but deactivate open library so that we get an empty instrument. So, as you can see, nothing is loaded. And now we add the instrument of our desire, which is in this case RetroSynth. Fine, let's add an equalizer to it with a low cut, just for fun. And now we'll have to save this instrument as a channel strip. So, save as channel strip, rename it, and save. Well, now we have to locate this preset in the library. And here I made a little mistake, but I leave it in so that you don't make the same one. Uh, what you see here on the left side is actually the uh, Retrocent library and not the channel strip library, and that's why I of course, couldn't find it. But once I created an empty track, I was able to locate it on the top of the list. There's a new folder, and inside here, we can now select it. Now, go down to the icon, click on it, and you can see this entry defined as default. Now we're almost set, but not quite. When I double click, I still get an empty instrument. This is because we have to enable open a library whenever creating a new instrument. Click create and you can see now also with double clicking, I get the desired new default instrument. The process for audio channel strips is exactly the same. Create an empty channel strip, insert all plugins you want to have in your default setting, then save channel strip setting as, rename it, save it, and it already popped up in the list. So select it, set as default, and we're almost done. We have to Enable open a library and now we're all set. I hope you liked the video and uh, you found it helpful. Uh, see you next time.